I am Pastor Vic Wilson, one of the pastors here at Bauer Community Fellowship. Most recently, we were blessed with this project right across the street here. And uh, it has been such a blessing because it's so convenient to our church family. And it's been a joy just to see how God has worked through our people and through our community. Hello, I'm Bill Foster, the Executive Director of Habitat for Missionaries. And I'm Daphne Foster, the Chief Financial Officer. Uh, Habitat for Missionaries is a not-for-profit organization that buys distressed properties, rehabs them using volunteer workers, and then when we sell the house, we donate all the profit to missionary support. Uh, we're here in Bauer, Michigan at the Bauer Community Fellowship, uh, working on a property right now. We'd like you to have a look and see what we do. Come on inside. Hi, my name is Josh Neal. My wife and I are missionaries to the country of Macedonia. And we're really excited about this project Habitat for Missions and the Bauer Community Church is doing on our behalf to flip this house as a way of supporting missionaries. Um, missionary support is, is difficult, especially the ongoing support. And so this is a great way that a church can just give you a, a push to really get some funding in to get missionaries back on the field. My name is Mark Deering. I'm with Remax of Grand Rapids. I'm a member of uh, Bauer Community Fellowship. We're working with Habitat for Missionaries to get the community together to uh, support missions. All right, let's take a tour. All right, you walk into the front door and you've got a three season room. Uh, this is all going to be a uh, whiteboard up here. It's going to have a cathedral ceiling look. It's kind of got some cool barn wood right now, but we are going to obviously drywall over that. And you walk in through this door, and it's going to be the uh, basically like a sitting room, almost like a den here. It's got lots of natural uh, woodwork throughout. Um, this is going to be put back to a window. There was a window here originally, and we're going to put that window back in to get some natural light in this room. It's got hardwood floors that we're going to restore um, in this area all the way through to the living room. So it's gonna all have uh, refinished hardwood floors, nice crown molding that we're gonna keep and work around. This is gonna be the living room. We're gonna build a nice little uh, wall here, which is gonna make that a separate office slash room. This is gonna have all kinds of uh, different shelving and a spot for a TV. It's gonna be a media center for the living room here. This would be the walkway into this office slash um, basically office and we're gonna put a window back in that spot this is the kitchen area uh, it's gonna be a brand new uh, rebuilt kitchen uh, brand new cabinets possibly brand new countertop and new floor we're gonna I think we're gonna put a laminate style tile in um, and where your standing is gonna be where the refrigerator goes the main floor laundry um, slash full bath. Yeah, this is the second story. Um, we've got four bedrooms up here. And as you can see, everything's stripped down, dry, down to the studs. We got Steve here putting in some uh, cable. Hey, my name is Steve Frody from Daybreak Church, actually down the road a couple miles from the local church across the street. So I'm actually here as an electrician, doing some wiring for the house, kind of get it ready for drywall. You've got three bedrooms on this end. Uh, bedroom here. It's kind of neat to see it in the stage it's seeing now because we're going to have brand new windows, brand new carpet. You know, everything's going to be spotless. This is the second story full bath. Bedroom number three that we've seen so far. Um, good sized closet. And one more bedroom over there. You can actually see through the two by fours right now. So it's bedroom number four over there. That's about it. We can show you outside real quick. Okay, now we're outside. Uh, we've got a couple large trees, this one here, and then the one over there that's uh, hanging right over the house. So we're gonna take those down. Um, I hate taking down nice trees, but this one's kind of dead anyways, and that one's probably on its way. So we're taking the trees down. All this landscaping um, is gonna be redone. We've got tons of volunteers helping out with that, and we've got a local company who's going to supply us with the landscaping. We already made modifications to the deck. Um, 
and we're getting a power wash and it'll be restained and uh, so that's going to be real nice for the new homeowner. The yard is huge, it's all um, tree lined almost on three sides and it is going to have, it's got that nice barn back there and uh, it's actually a two stall garage with a nice loft up top. And here's the, here's the barn slash garage that we've been talking about. It's, uh, Needs a little bit of TLC. There was a bunch of vines that were growing up there and we took them all down to make sure that the structure was still good. Inside is just your typical garage. Um, we're gonna strip it down, clean it, and um, take all the, the uh, insulation out and probably respray this like a white or something so it just gives it a nice bright, cheery feeling. I think it's really cool because um, normally when you think of someone um, raising money for missionaries, you're thinking of an adult. And um, I'm only 10 years old and I've got younger siblings that are five and seven and they are even helping out with this. And I just think that's so cool because normally you just think of older people. Um, we are cleaning up this house right here so um, for Habitat for Missionaries. We're gonna fix it all up and sell it for like triple the money and then give all the money to missionaries. My name is Tim Harth. I'm the electrical contractor here for the Bauer uh, Habitat for Missions house. The Habitat for Missionaries uh, project, it, to me, it, it seems like a win-win uh, for, for more than one reason. Bill has a plan. Bill has uh, been proven in uh, what he's done with many of these projects and certainly here from start to finish and all the way through Bill is right beside us uh, helping us and uh, helping us raise up the team and uh, just is a real cheerleader through this whole uh, process. So if Bill were ever to come and knock on your door as a pastor, uh, invite him in because um, his passion and heart for Habitat for Missions will begin to just feed into your own heart uh, for missions.